What up, though, everybody? Back to talk about The Flight Attendant on HBO Max. So this is one that came out a while ago, and it's one of those things where it's like, I've been watching so many different things for these videos that a lot of times there's things that I'm going to watch, and I want to get a video out right away, like new episodes of The Expanse. Um, I watch The Expanse, I want to get a new video out because it's timely, right? So um, that kind of thing happens where I'll see a movie or I watch something and I want to get a video out right away. And then something that's not as pressing that it seems like people aren't really clamoring for um, can get pushed back. And that's what happened with The Flight Attendant. I did watch The Flight Attendant right away when it first came out. So um, give you a short idea. Flight Attendant essentially, it stars Kaylee Cuoco from uh, The Big Bang Theory. Um, she's a flight attendant and she goes to Thailand and essentially she wakes up next to a guy who's dead and she has to figure out what happened uh, because obviously it's going to look like it's her because she woke up next to him. So um, it's essentially a kind of like a stylized whodunit. Um, what hurts the flight attendant is that it followed the undoing. It's a, the exact same concept, really. Um and if you, it, it, which one you watch, I think kind of depends on what you favor in your television at that time or in general, really. It doesn't even have to be at that time. So the undoing, like I mentioned in uh, one of the earlier videos, one of the first videos I put up on this channel, uh, powerhouse performances um, from everybody except Nicole Kidman. Uh, Hugh Grant really showed out great stuff from him. Um, it was dramatic. It was suspenseful. Uh, it was a quick little six episodes. Um really great to watch. I could see some Emmy nominations for Hugh Grant, all that kind of shit, right? This is, um, I, I, I don't want, I don't want to be insulting to the show too bad, but this is not, if, 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 if you're looking for a whodunit like The Undoing, this isn't what you're going to be wanting to watch. Um, it's a little bit more comedic. Um, it's a little bit messier as far as like how the show is structured. Um, they have the character that's killed come back multiple times throughout each episode. And the way in which she kind of like communicates with him is really messy. Like it, it's really unclear what's happening or how she's doing it. And they play this out throughout the entirety of the series um, in a way that becomes literally laughable to me and not in a good way. Like I, I, I was, you know, it's like it started off where like, okay, is she imagining going back to this scene and within her imagination, this guy's talking, you know, and, and that's something that I can accept, right? You know, it's like, okay, you know, she's freaking out. She's trying to wrap her head around. How is this guy dead? You know, I woke up next to a guy with a slit throat. Uh, what happened here? So if she's thinking in her head, like, let me go back to this. It could be like a mixture of like memory and imagination where it's, you know, she's, She's recycling thoughts on, on conversations that she had with this character when he was still alive. So it's something that you can kind of, you could do a little mental gymnastics to figure out how this is happening. But as the show progresses, the interactions between the two of them become so, it, it's, it's almost like the writers of the show forgot that he was dead. Like he's providing new information. He's having conversations with her. Um, he's learning about things that he, that happened after he died. Like it's, it's really weird that it's, he goes from being like this dead guy who's kind of like a premonition who's like fucking with her like and it's you can tell it's all in her head really to where it's like it's almost like they completely forgot like okay now we're just gonna have like it's like it's like he's alive but we know he's dead it, it, it's really it's really weird and I didn't care for it um they had a lot of weird misplaced comedic moments in that show which I, I thought were um I don't know. I, I didn't find them funny. And it could have been just because I went into it with a mindset of like, this is going to be a, a, a fairly serious show. We're going to see Kaylee put on her, her big acting boots. And to be fair, she did a very good job in this show. Like, I'm not saying that she sucks or anything like that, but you know, I came with the mindset of this being something um, to take a little bit more seriously. And ultimately it's kind of like a popcorn TV show. Um, you know, you have popcorn movies that came out in the summer. They're usually pretty brainless uh, action. You, you you pop your popcorn, you have to pay too close attention. The flight attendant is that. It's, um, I don't remember how many episodes it is, but however many episodes it is, it's popcorn television. You don't have to pay close attention. Um, so it, it's one of those things where like, it, it didn't work for me just because I, I, and that could be because of my expectations going in. 
but uh, my expectations going in have no bearing on the fact that I didn't like the way that they uh, interjected the dead character back into the show in a way that was inconsistent to where it's like, I, I, I can't tell, like now I don't know what the fuck's going on. It's like, I can guess what I can guess before I can say, okay, um, you know, she's imagining this. He's, you know, she's, she's hearing him talking, but it's really just memories that she already has anyway, from the time that they spent together to the point where it's like, I don't even know, <laughs> like, like, is he, is he basically alive at this point? <laughs> like that's, that's how I felt. So, um, it's a tough one to recommend just because um, it didn't work for me, but I could see someone coming in who's like very kind of like, you know, let me, I just want some cool shit to watch for eight to 10 hours uh, for, you know, the next, you know, week or however long you choose to spend on it. And in that regard, it is, it's, it's an acceptable watch. It's not actively bad, but it was just something that I didn't need to, re I, I didn't care for it. Um, I finished it, but it was because my wife wanted to finish it. I, like after, after the first episode, I said, uh, I don't know if I really like this. After the second episode, I said, nah, I'm good. And she, but she wanted to keep, watch, keep watching it. So we did, but um, that's just, my, that's my thoughts on it. Um, I can't really think of too much that would be, I guess, useful in helping make a determination on whether or not you would watch it in addition to what I've already said. But um, like I said, popcorn TV. So if, if you're, if you, if you're ready to not have to turn your brain on and just watch some shit that's mildly entertaining, <laughs> This is for you, but um, if you want something that's that's uh, that resonates a little bit more, um, that has better acting, that you know is something that's really suspenseful and interesting, and, and something where that you can really just really get into, um, I'd say go with the Undoing over this. I think the the flight attendants suffered from coming out right after the Undoing because then I watched them both back to back, and you can't watch something that you feel like is is on the cusp of Emmy nominated television and then go right into something that's like popcorn television. The popcorn television is going to look even worse in, in in comparison, especially when it follows up the one that looks that was really good. So um, maybe if you haven't seen The Undoing and what I said about the flight attendant sounds dope to you, then there you go. You you know, it's something you can watch for a few hours and, and really enjoy. So that's all I have for The Flight Attendant. Um, I'm going to be back with a couple more movie, uh, movie reviews, a couple more TV reviews, and I'm probably going to be hitting you guys with videos every day for probably a good additional five to seven days, somewhere in that range. So um, if you like what I'm saying, like what I'm talking about, rate, comment, share, subscribe, critique, all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.